Hey, it's Brent. Eric from Motor Trend, Fastest Cars in the Dirty South. Hope you enjoy this free episode you're fixing to watch. If you like what you see, check out the info below for more about the shows you love. There's thousands of hours of your favorite Motor Trend and Discovery motor shows just a click away. Enjoy, Enjoy the, the episodes. episodes. I guess you won that race. <laughs> Already. <laughs> Crew all come down to Mobile, Alabama. We got two cars we need to check out at starting line. Let's go. Time to do it. Weather is just too cold to race around Muscle Shoals. So we all come down here where the weather was a little bit warmer to test our cars. Just wanted to get out of the house and race a little bit. Hey, is that Malcolm over? Yeah, that's his new car. Since we took the other one? Yeah. <laughs> Looked like he had a little problems out of it know how it is when you just put something together. That's right. Malcolm had to build a new car because we sort of took his car last racing season. <laughs> the car has great bones, but the 442 car is way more powerful than Malcolm's new car. And as much as I want Malcolm to win, I just don't see it happen. 442 sounds pretty dang good. It sure do. Sound real good. Let's roll! Malcolm got outrun. The 442 guys outrun them. I mean, it wasn't even a race. Hey! Hey! What's going on, Malcolm? We got problems. Look like you having some issues, brother. I got some big issues. Yeah, some of them new car problems, man. I done yes. been through that. Yes, we've been fighting that car for about two, three weeks now. I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna see if I can't trick him out there with that hound dog I got back there on the trailer. Right. If I can get him on in, in, in that right there, I'll get my money back tonight. Let's go check him out. We'll right, go with you, go man. talk to him. All right, man. Let's see if we can't make that happen. All right. Oh, oh. Welcome to Muscle Shows, Alabama. We like to call it the capital of the dirty south. This is where nitrous field engines roam. And daredevil drivers tear down the pavement at over 140 miles per hour. Good Lord. Any one of these race cars is just by like taking off in a jet. When it comes to racing, we prefer grudge. 9,000 straight off the rip. I do that, and I think Brent got a dollar fifty. Dollar fifty batted. Dollar fifty one. Dollar fifty one. You're always trying to out negotiate the opponent. I'm gonna take the slowest car you got right. and beat you with it. Oh Lord, how rough it is. What's wrong with him? Let's put him down the track. One pass, whoever gets to the other end, that is it. Winner take all. I have built the greatest grudge racing team in the Dirty South. Y'all did good. Y'all came. Y'all showed up. At the end of the day, we're putting all our skills out there to show them we are the baddest in the Dirty South. Man, you drive good. You want to run with us? Shoot, I'm, I'm cool with it. We'll hook up sometime. We'll go race. All right, man. All right, man. We got you if you need us. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, that's how we do it in the Dirty South. Crazy as hell down here. Oh, oh. Yes, sir. I've been knowing Malcolm's story for a long time. So I believe it's some big, it. yeah, it's some big money that can be made off this. Malcolm is known all around the area for having a fast G body. I really think the G body coming back actually started from him, but he definitely have a faster mouth than he do his cars. I ain't like that. I want to try you again right now with little dude. Straight off the trail, right now. What he's done with these 442 boys, it's pretty clever. He was hoping to bait them with that old blue car and make them jump all over that white car, and Malcolm could win him a little money. We'll do it back right now. 
Double. Oh, 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 oh. No, that ain't, that ain't, that ain't, that ain't good. You didn't, you didn't get us in the trap right. You tricked us and we tricked you better. No, now look, look. <laughs> you got to run us back with You want to beat us with the same car you want to spin. No, ain't nothing in the grudge book that say we got to run back with the same car now. No, I ain't going to run a little deep. We're going to run that again. Uh -huh. Double the pot. Let's do that right there. Yeah. I think Malcolm Mouth got him in real deep with Team 442, but I told him before that I would have his back if he ever needed me. Y'all can even take that motor out of one y'all thinks faster. Don't mind <laughs> me. Do what? <laughs> take the motor out of Duke and put it in Riley. Yeah, I guess. Whatever y'all need to do. If y'all want it fast, I'll get a rope and drag it down through there. Hey, you know we can put something together in two weeks, and you got us behind. Yeah, we behind. So we just run for five. We're going to double up and run for 10. We coming we, right next we time. We hard at it. Whatever y'all want to do. Let me get this straight now. Two weeks, the 442, Riley. Head up. Right? Rematch. Rematch. Okay, 10 this time instead of five. Right. All gonna right. Double it up. We're gonna double it up. And after that, it's Lil Duke and the 442. If, Head up. If you feel comfortable after I beat you, I don't believe in two weeks he can How about that? do enough to the car to outrun my car. He ain't got, he ain't got no chance. I got 2,000 on top of it against Riley. Oh! 2,000. Oh! What about 1,000? Man, I do a thousand. Let's do a thousand, man. Right. It looked like Malcolm could use a helping hand. Malcolm is already $5,000 in the hole. There's a $10,000 bet, so we're going to split it. And then I got $1,000 up on a side bet. You know, let's help Malcolm. Maybe we can make some money out of it. Dead ear. Dead ear. Sound good. We got to get to work. Oh, oh. stop shop for car lovers. Motor Trend, the ultimate automotive streaming service. It's not about miles per gallon, it's about miles, miles per, gallon. per gallon. Get the entire Motor Trend library, including every episode of Roadkill and Roadkill Garage. Dirt every day. Head to head, throttle out, and world's greatest drag race. Uh, why do we do it? Because we can. But now, there's a whole new library of car shows available. Watch Bitchin' Rides, catch up on old episodes of Overhauling or American Chopper, and see the latest Diesel Brothers and Wheeler Dealers episodes. You know what? There's even live racing and auctions. If you love automotive, there's only one place to stream. Start your free trial today and get Motor Trend on any of your favorite devices. This is fast. You do? Well, I got some that ain't that fast, and I got something that is fast. Well, you know what our game is. I do. Supposedly, y'all can take my slow car and outrun my fast car. That's right. Question is, do you think you can do it? We can build anything. I built this car from scratch. You ain't seen this one. Huh? Well, that's true. I got them both here. I got a Vega and a Mustang. Well, bring them to the start line. Let's watch them both make a pass. You're going to be sorely disappointed. Nah. It's going to take a lot. It's going to take money and a lot of talent to make this thing outrun my We've Mustang. We've got all the above. But it takes a lot more to outrun my Mustang. We're going to take your slow car, upgrade it, and bust your ass with it. Get both the cars to the start line. That way we can look at them. Let's do it. All right. He said we probably ain't got the talent of money to do this. Yeah. Really? Yeah, that's what he said. Damn, it must be a piece of for real. Well, well where is that? I don't know. Well, I know they wasn't all barking no bite. Man, you got me out of a perfectly warm truck to come down here and freeze. Hey, they should have been here. There's a Honda. <laughs> Close enough. Let's see what he want to do. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we was beginning to think yep. you done got scared and left. Yep. Well, you know, can't show up with your pants down. I'm gonna show you what I got right here, and then I'll show you the Vegas. That's what I want to see. I want to see what it do, you know. Well, hey, well, let's go up here and clear the way for it. Come on up here. Damn, 
sounds real good. The only thing about Rolette's car that intimidates me at all is the car has been to some pretty major events, so the car is proven. He's got a nice car. I'm not gonna knock the boy's car, but we can build a faster car. Rolette, don't count your chickens for the hatch, because we can hurt your feelings. That car just as fast as ours. That's right. Our personal cars. That's right. This Mustang has so much power, it can't grip the cold track tonight. It's going to take some money to mess with. Yeah. When the weather warms up, this car will be no joke. Oh, man. <laughs> That's a lot of work. There's no way this car will run anywhere close to Rolex Mustang. This car is a joke, and we're the punchline. Good God! Hey, it already made no a pass. way! I'm, hey, no, I'm not doing it. It made a pass. His other car didn't. I'm not doing it. I know y'all good at what y'all do. Not that good. But that right there is gonna take an act of Congress. It, that. I'm like Eric. I'm done. I'm not doing it, man. That. Hey, that made work. a pass. The other one didn't. I, I call it a sign. A sign we fix to get our ass pulled. No faith. My car started from nothing. And that one's still nothing. <laughs> Starting from nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you walked into that, man. You walked all oh, in there. Bad as I hate to say this, I want to do it. Oh. I want to accept the challenge. Hey, two weeks. I say it's silly to do it. We ain't set a time limit. We ain't set a time limit with him. No. I'm, hey, I'm, yeah. hey, I'm in. Time. If everybody else is in, I'll be in. But I don't want to do it. I Hell, really he don't. He's the only one crazy enough to drive it. I don't care. I ain't scared. Let's go talk to him. We can put $30,000 in this Vega and still might not be fast enough to outrun James's Mustang. But we're a team. And if the guys think there's some way that we can make money off this car, then we'll give it a shot. You know, I see a lot of bad in it, but you know, at least it didn't make a pass and that car couldn't even get down the track. You're right, see, y'all are already ahead right there. <laughs> I, I wouldn't you call know, it ahead. You know this one will go. We're gonna do this, one stipulation though. There's no limit on how long it takes us to get the car done. So you wanna just take it for as long as you feel like it. I mean, how much time y'all really want? Three to four months? Three or four months. Yeah. We got to work a miracle on this car. This thing is I real mean, bad. I know we can do this, but it's still going to be a miracle to do it. I mean, I ain't going to disagree. I think three or four months is good. I think we can do that. So what's going to happen when it all runs? Ain't going to happen. That ain't, it'd be a miracle. Hey, I'm miracles happen all the time. I'm, we got to have some kind of wager. What you, what, what you think? Yeah, that, yeah, that sounds good. Some kind of wager. Because, you know, you ain't losing nothing. The ugliest thing about this car is the chips are stacked up against us. If we win this race against James's Mustang, I want more than just the car. I want cash. If we beat you, you give us 5000 on top. 5000 You're going to get a, a $20,000 upgrade. We're the dummies here. Y'all ain't no dummies. Y'all wouldn't even be trying to do it if you were dummies. I think that's good. Y'all are gonna spend a lot of money on this car, and then I'm gonna get it back anyway, so we'll do it. Hey, that's the deal, man. Fair is Let's fair. do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. It's a good thing we brought the open trailer. All the rust that fall out of it. I thought y'all gonna drive it home, man. I ain't driving this thing home. <laughs> See if you can catch it on fire. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, bring it. We can do it. Hi, <laughs> hey, that's right. <laughs> my guys is sort of on my butt. Wah, wah, wah. But my biggest wishes, we're going to give it everything we've got and then throw another 50% in on top of that to build a car that will beat his turbo Mustang. <laughs> The name on the tag said all. Look ugly. That's a whole lot of ugly. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs>
be inside the video, probably outside the trailer. You know, we've been here at Mobile a couple days, but before we head home, we're coming back to the track to help Malcolm story test with Riley. Problems that, Bob. Had a little unfortunate accident with my arm. I'm limited as to what I can do right now, but I talked to the guys. They're willing to help me out. They told me if I ever need them, call on them. Here I am. I'm calling on them today because I need them bad. Boy, you and them small big, blocks. That's big, all. Small right, man. Small <laughs> you can make big things happen with a small block. That's right. What I'm looking for when this car go down the track, we need to see how much slower Riley is to Lil Duke. The guy that we racing, the 442 Cutlass. Yeah. He's quick out of the gate, and he's fast out there. How much faster is he than this one? He might be a car length or so. Two car lengths Two faster, car lengths than, faster this. than this one. Exactly. That blue car, Riley, has got to be out in front of Little Duke in a race. If not, 442 Boys is going to eat us for lunch. Car? Look like about a car. Maybe. Car stumbled bad leaving. Yeah. yeah. Stumbled well bad. It kind of sounds like it ain't the right converter for it neither. That could be the stumbling and popping, you know. I really don't think Malcolm Carr can be the 442. The engine don't really sound like it's real happy right now. I can't wait to get it in the shop so we can start going over it and see how much we can do to it to pick it up. We're gonna take care of it, we'll help you. That's what's up. That's what I that's what I need to hear. There's a lot riding on this one. We can fix that, though. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm not taking no loss. You done got us in it. We're going to build a okay, car. Okay, that's what I'm saying, is get behind me and let's get it done. One thing about it, you ain't got to worry about making it lighter. <laughs> no, it gets lighter every time it moves. <laughs> it rusts to fall out of it. <laughs> Man. I got a 10 inch 258 in here. That way, right there will choke your car. I don't know nothing about that. Hey, hey buddy, man, man, what are y'all working on? Well, y'all. Y'all supposed to be working on a gold Camaro. This is this the wrong. This should be the wrong color Camaro right here. Around where we live at, Kenny Ford is the godfather of racing. He's helped everybody out in our area. It don't matter how many cars we have to work on, how many cars we have to build. When Kenny comes through the door, we're going to drop what we got to work on Kenny's stuff because Kenny has never failed us. Y'all ain't getting no work done. We got a gold Camaro that's got to be done by, I got to leave Tuesday now. And I need a race car. Right now, Kenny brought his daughter car over here, kind of sprung it on us because she's wanting to race. I'm taking it. This is going to be her new car. She's going to drive it. Claiming it. She's going to claim it. She's been claiming it already. That's my right. car, my car. Yeah. <laughs> I, I ain't seen no money come out of it yet, no, but it's her car. Yeah, she's daddy's girl, so well, the money don't matter. She's been, she been going to the racetrack with me since she was about this tall. We lay her on a blanket on the trailer. She can drive. Dita has been racing for maybe a year and a half. Her first race she went to, she won. So she definitely got it in her blood, and she loves racing. The worst part of her driving right now is everyone around me. <laughs> but, er but everyone else is panicking and doing it. I'd be like, man, if they just leave her alone, she'll drive. <laughs> she won the first race she went to, you know, she she, she done good. I have faith that y'all are going to get it done, but even if it doesn't, I mean, I'll slip down there and work on it all week, I guess. But I'd rather be racing, so. Well, we're, we're coming down to make sure it, it yeah. goes down the track and do all good. Of us are. Kenny Ford put on me that he wants to have his gold Camaro ready just three days before Lights Out Race, one of the first big races of the season. A bunch of records get broken. I mean, you see the fastest of the fastest. And if Kenny's daughter wants to race, I'm going to do everything I can to help her have this car there so she can race. I'm putting this girl in that car. She's got to be safe. This car's got to be good, y'all. We're going to make sure she's safe. I'm depending safe. on y'all. We got it. So right now, we ain't doing nothing but sitting here talking, looking at my car. Y'all ain't getting nothing ain't, done. Ain't nothing wrong with my car, so we can actually get to work on it and test it. Let's we'll bring it in. Let's take it. We'll go get it. it. Yeah. All right. Go get it. But that's a big block for you. Kenny's daughter, Dita, surprised her dad by wanting to have this car ready for lights out this weekend. That's beautiful, man. She looks Thank good. you, sir. I bought this car to Texas probably 15 years ago. It's set in a field for a few years. We've been working on the gold Camaro off and on for five years. That means for us, we're going to have to work hard, go over every nut and bolt of this car, and make sure that it's safe for her to make a pass in it, because this car hadn't been down the track in 15, 20 years. How big is it? 598. Ooh. 598. Ooh. Ooh. That's what it's supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> big motor. Eric and those guys, they're great mechanics. So I'm hoping they can help me out and get it finished so we can make it down to lights out. Y'all just tell me what all we need to get, and I'll... Just leave your credit card. Woo! Yeah, just leave. Blank check. <laughs> not, not with y'all. Blank check. <laughs> I, I'm going to go get my parts I brought. I know it needs. <laughs> y'all didn't make sure it's safe for her. I put the bling bling on. That we go. got that. That's <laughs> Bling bling. Bling bling. Put that bling bling on. <laughs> Girl, it ain't going to make the car go straight or fast or nothing. Well, there could be some air hitting that just right and keep it <laughs> like a wing or something on the back. <laughs> well, we've been sitting here talking long enough. We'll get all y'all away and let y'all work. If you Let's do it. Bling, bling, y'all. <laughs> Thank you. See y'all, Kenny. See y'all. Yeah. Now that I started racing, of course, I want a car there to drive myself. So I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. Where y'all want to start? <sighs> we need to hit every bolt on it. All the way up. All the way up. Right there. This car's a nice car. Well, you know, what can I say? I, I did all that work. <laughs> yeah, we he spent some money. money spent on this thing. He spent some money on this. Hey, right. if y'all had a daughter that raced, 
wouldn't the, Dude, yeah. it be unlimited yeah. Yeah. whatever she wanted? It's uh, Kenny's daughter. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to make sure it's right. Mm. This car is a hot commodity, and his daughter wants to race, and this is the biggest race of the year. You scratch it, I'm leaving. Uh, Jamie Wayne can fix it. It's going to a racetrack, and Dita's going to be driving it. She don't want no scratches on her new paint job. We need to adjust the shocks on the front, too. Yeah, we need to do it on the ground instead of here. OK. Now we're on a hot plate to get a car finished up that was supposed to take six months to be finished. Now we got to finish it in, let's see here, two days. You got the power on? Power's on. <laughs> you giving about something. Yeah, y'all tickles me. We ready? All right, fire in the hole. Go ahead. Why ain't we crank? Get the dish and all. It's got trash in it. It's yeah. leaking fuel in here. That's why it's bad to run fuel completely out. It picks all the trash up in the bottom of the tank, and then this is exactly what happens. Well, we're going to take the air and blow it up. The car's always did that in the back. Mine did. If they don't fix it, I might have to put a new one in it. Tires on. Start it up with the fuel pump off. I'm working along because we got to be in Georgia this week. These guys, they got families and stuff like that. My wife and I have been together a long time, so she understands when it comes to stuff like this. And sometimes I just got to, I got to be gone. I got to get it done. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. I'm adjusting the valves on it. We had a poly lock that is too long that's keeping the valve cover from coming down. That'll fix it. That stud was up so high that it was rubbing it right there. That right there could have been an oil leak that could have caused a wreck or catch on fire. Your car goes real quick from a twenty, thirty thousand dollar car to about a three or four thousand dollar car. The car can be replaced, but Dita's life is unreplaceable. Look like everybody didn't abandon me. Dane out there. What up, brother? Sure, I'll be right back. Okay. Get ready to put on the, the rocker panel chrome. Kenny wants to keep this thing looking pretty, so put this little piece of chrome right here. If Kenny's daughter, Dita, is happy, we're all happy. Because Kenny does so much for us. He's a great guy. Prettied it up. All right, this is what we got going on. What's up? The track owner just called me. They're going to have the track ready for us at 12 o'clock. We're trying to get this car tested before the lights out race. We're about an hour away, so we're going to be late. The biggest advantage to testing close by your shop is if you break anything, you're more likely to have the parts to fix it or the tools to fix it. Oh, my god. I'm a dead man. My girl, she's a little upset right now because we got a ton going on. She's pregnant. Between my home life and racing, she's, she's at her wit's end right now with me. So this is what you do. You walk in there and say, you ain't, don't believe what Eric done done to me. Uh -huh. I got to be here. And hey, she'll be pissed off at me then. So if she call, I'm not going to answer the phone. <laughs> I'm supposed to be doing family dinner today. I got to get out of here. Get over to the house real quick so I can get back here and butter it up. You don't think it'd be easier to call? No. <laughs> She's going to Who's the boss? Uh, we're not doing this right now. <laughs> Let me get it on so we can get this over with. She's going to be pissed. But this is a life of a drag racer. Hello? It's all back raining over here. OK. We're in Muscle Shoals right now. It ain't raining a drop here. It's all okay. Well, man, I hate that. We was trying to get up there. If you see it going to clear tomorrow or something, shoot, just let me know. We'll, we'll take off up there. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Thank you. All right. All right. All right. Bye.
Mother Nature done threw a wrench in the game for us, so now we're just gonna sit back and hope that we get an opening before we have to go where we can get this car tested. There you go. It's time to put up or shut up. I'm gonna take the slowest car you got right. and beat you with it. Oh, Lord! We've got two weeks to build this car. We've got a lot of money on the line. Let's Wait, do it. Let's do it. Is that the hood? I got the baddest ass team it is. Fastest Cars in the Dirty South. New series now streaming on Motor Trend. Start your free trial to watch on any device. to Vidasa, Georgia, to Lights Out at South Georgia Motorsport. This drive is about 450 miles one way. We're gonna help Dita Ford with her Camaro that we've been working on for the last couple days. Try to make a few test passes in it, make sure it's safe for her to drive it. Hey, are we there yet? This race is straight up the wild, wild west of racing. This is a place that's not for amateurs. This is where big things happen and records are broken every single year. I'm anxious to see what it do. It's been aggravating trying to get this car tested. We tried to go testing and it ranges out, so. That's why you had to be really sharp on what you're doing. Because when you go on events like this, you don't have a whole lot of test time. The biggest concern is what? Maybe slowing it down? Well, the, right now the biggest concern is, is it don't take off to the wall. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know if this car gonna be a, one of them to get up in the air, so. I done had some bad experiences with yeah. Willys. Yeah. Oh, Didn't you not just pee when we was about to overpass? Yeah, but I got a little bladder and all this rain, I got to pee again. Tell him to pull his left boot off. <laughs> Malcolm said, pull your left boot off. Yeah. And aim in there. Well, if you just bought them, then they won't leak. so you can tinkle. It's gonna be a long trip. <laughs> Georgia Motorsport Park. When you come through the gate at a race like this, you see cars that you don't see nowhere else. There's pro chars, there's blowers, there's turbos. There's nitrous cars. You see the best of the best when you come to a race like this. How the hell you get here so early? Because I woke up early. I was waiting on you. Don't want to do nothing without you. Well, you know, I had Malcolm with us. He was slowing us down. <laughs> What's up, Miss Dita? Hey, you hey, ready? Hey, hey, I'm ready. What we got in here? Well, since you're the smallest, I think I, we didn't let you get it <laughs> out. I'm going to see it. You push it out, you going to drive it out? Uh, oh, I should it drive it out. I'm hoping that we make a pass in this car and everything goes smooth. My biggest concern is this car could get crazy right on takeoff. Dita is like my little sister. I don't want her to get hurt in the car. Let's go see what it does. All right. I want Mikey to drive this car on the first test because Mikey's been driving a long time. All right, we'll get you starting, man. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. He would know the let out of it before it got in trouble or actually caused a wreck. Are you ready? Hell yeah. He's born ready. Born ready. All right, we don't know what this thing gonna do, so. Let out of it if it do something stupid. Uh, you know it. I know it. I know you will. 
That'll work. Be safe. All right, man. All right. Me and Mikey seem to work real well together. He's really experienced, and I can actually watch the car to see if he's fighting the car to try to make it go straight down the track. When a car is set up right, you should be able to hold the steering wheel with one hand, and it just drives down. Shift, did it? We got to put some preload. Pull over. Yeah, it was dog leg, Bam. big time. Let's go. Hey. When a car dog legs, the car runs down the track sideways. In racing, we don't want that. Dina's car is dog legging so badly, we've got to get this car running true and straight down the track, or there's no way we're gonna put Dina in the car because it's not safe for her. Can't go by the front. You had to, you had to square it up by the front wheels. All right, let's go to the other side, see where we're at. All There's right. something off. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's in the rear end or the back end. This is exactly what I was afraid of. I don't have my tools. I don't have my shop. I don't have nothing to adjust this car like it really need to be done. This is why you test before you come to this type of event. You got that right. You know, the frustrating part about the car is having to come to the track and work on it. Just coming in and doing small maintenance stuff is one thing, but coming in and having to do major stuff that affects the way this car performs on the track, that's a big deal. I mean, you know, we don't want to have to haul this far down to put it in the trailer and go home. First of all, I'm gonna take a little bit out of it. Right now we're in Valdosta, Georgia, lights out 10. We've helped Kenny Ford rebuild a car for his daughter, Dita. The car was running dog-legged down the track, which is running sideways. You know, Eric's trying to rack his brain to figure out what he's gotta do to get this car fixed like it needs to be fixed. I think the rear end is over a little bit in the car, and I think it's got a little bit too much preload in it. It's got too much weight on the right side. What are you gonna do, get it out? Check it out there on the ground? Yeah. All right, let's get her down then. What we're dealing with right now is exactly what I did not want to deal with. Last night, the car didn't go straight, so I've been up all night long thinking about this, and I think I figured it out this morning. Woo, Dita got a little booty. <laughs> little tight? Heck yeah. There's a lot of pressure on me to make sure this car is right because Kenny has done so much for me through the years. It's gonna be harder than it looks. Yeah. I got mine up. All right, watch your hands. It wasn't just a small adjustment. I ended up having to take the rear end out of it and redo everything on it and put it all back and see if that be the solution to it. Yeah, this is looking real good now. I like the way the exhaust is looking. I see if it goes down the track straight this time. That would call knuckle buster. Both of us bleeding. I guess we're blood brothers now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we've rebuilt the whole rear end under the car, and the car should go down the track straight now. Went really well. That's what we was looking for. We come here to get her in a 6-0 dial in where it went up 597. It's dead on six flat. The only thing she gotta do is drive. Now it's time to put Dita in the car and see what she can do. This is the moment she's been waiting on. Finally she can get in her car. Now she's happy. From where it came to actually making some passes in it this weekend, and it's driving really well. The car's doing great. The guys did a great job on it. What do you want to make? A little friendly fire? Oh, no, I got to find out. I don't know if you want to go. 
<laughs> We're going to try to find somebody to grudge race with this car. This is just what we do. We love grudge racing, and it makes more fun for us being down here. Hey, y'all want to do a little friendly wager? What you, I mean, what you want to do, 20, 100? Oh, all right, 1,000. Bet, bet, bet. They want 1,000, we'll do it for 1,000. 1,000, no. That's 2,000. Oh, you got close, uh, close to the 6-0 or win line? 6-0. All right, there six you go. 6-0. That's six what racing's all about. You got to get out here and bet. If you ain't got faith in your car, Ain't no need being here. There you go. Oh, there's a bet. Right now, we got two separate $1,000 bets, one with the driver and one with a fan. We're down here to have a little fun, so why not gamble a little bit, maybe make a little money, go and have a nice dinner tonight. He's hollering. Let's go. Let's go. Fire him up. We got this. We got this. Tired, wore out, but this is what we came for to make sure Dina can win this race today. It's go time. Come on, Dina. Come on. It's green. They turn the red light on, which loses them the race. And a win's a win. Hey! <laughs> this girl is badass. She just went faster than she's ever been in a race car. He went red. That's he went right. red. No, 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 we win. get it. Right. It's a win. It's a win. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good job. That's right. That's I'm going right. to sneak through it tonight. Good job. Oh, Good job, dude. Thank you. Mmm, 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 mmm. We got us a fat-ass car. <laughs> we got a winning car now within three days. That just shows how good our team is when we put our heads together. Heck yeah. I knew my car was fast, so that's always a good feeling. The guys did a good job. And if I have any complaint, is that my car's too fast. <laughs> this car is an animal compared to what it was about two weeks ago. <laughs> that's that's that I'll agree with. We were scared to death. This thing would never make it down the track. We didn't know what was going to fall off of but I, I'm very happy what y'all done. I'm thrilled with the way she just done right. in this car. She can win in this car right long now. Long she don't have to run me. <laughs> if she gets you on the light, boy, you can be in trouble. She get me on the light. <laughs> I'm too fast for her. Depends on what time of night it is. Well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, if it's somewhere I, close to midnight, he's ready. I'm it's, ready it's, to take it's done. Night. Car done good, though. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. My bling bling stayed on, but I had to put the glue on the bling bling. That's because you forgot to do it when we was at home. Uh, <laughs> We're going to go find Mike. Mikey Smith is here with his car, the little Dodson. This car is crazy. There's no telling what we're getting ready to see. I've seen all four wheels off the ground before. You going for a ride. <laughs> what you talking about? We're helping Mikey get ready. James Rolex comes up. No, nice call again. Man, I come all the way down here. Y'all got to be here. I got to give the Rolex team props. With this piece of junk Vega that Brand got us into, we definitely got to out hustle. Is that big hat because your head swelled from putting that piece of bag on us? With a hat that big, you know he's got a bunch of egos. Don't be trying to get the hat. I know you want it, Mike. Only thing we can use that for is catch oil or something out of that damn looking at Vega. Oh, man. Y'all done gave y'all something y'all gonna run with. If you would've saw what we saw when we got it up on the lift. You can't be scared in drag racing. We ain't scared, we don't wanna die. You already know what you handed us. For now on, I'm gonna make sure the team keeps their eyes on Brant so we don't get in a deal like this again. I gotta get suited up. Yeah. All right. This is our first race of the season. We're starting up $2,000, which feels really good. We're ready to get back to Muscle Shoals so we can get on these other car bills 
so we can try to grudge race and make some more money.